Hello you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Today is currently Monday, November 6th, and last night, if you can tell it all, I got a random urge to take down all the fall stuff. I just got like this rant, you, you know that? It's like when you were a kid and at like nighttime you would just all of a sudden want to rearrange your bedroom. It was kind of like that, but like taking down the fall decor, and it's like so empty, like our cabinets back there. I just have this candle here because I found this pumpkin candle from Target that I never burned. So we're burning it now. It smells very good. I want to say that I told you guys this vlog would be decorating, but I don't know if it will be because the weather tomorrow is going to be 60 and it's stressing me out. <laughs> I know, it's so dumb. But then after that, it's all 40s. So I might decorate in a few days, but either way, the vlogs shall continue. Oh, I did put a few things. So let me show you the very few things we've got going on. So I took down my fall little arrangement, but I did put in my sleigh bells. They're so cute. Two packs is perfect. I do have like a bowl in there to kind of fill it, but so cute. We do have our sleigh bells. Something else Christmassy will go there when we take out our decor, but I bought those at Target the other day. So cute. And then in the entryway, I put my two Santas here that I got at Home Goods in the last vlog. Those two I think are going to go outside on the front door, one on each side of the door. Obsessed. Those were also in my last vlog. So I was trying to figure out what to put on the other side. And you guys, I have these deer from last year and they are perfect because they also are made of like the same tin that the top of these are made of. They are a base of wood, but then the top parts are made of that metal-y tin like these. And I love how they're symmetrical with like the tall one, short one, and then tall one, short one. So I think that looks so freaking cute for the entryway this year. Everything is just like so empty without the fall decor, but it was kind of refreshing, kind of like a breath of fresh air for a few days. But anyway, we are gonna do some Christmassy things today. I need to go get rid of this fall manicure. I know that's also very silly, but it feels wrong to decorate for Christmas with a fall manicure. <laughs> I'm very emotional. <laughs> I did already go to the gym this morning and I even showered and just blow dried my hair. So we're fresh, we're ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna go get a manicure, do a grocery pickup because it is Monday and I did not do it yesterday. And then I was thinking about stopping by at home or Walmart to check out their Christmas decor and see if I can find an affordable gingerbread village for this entryway table here. Because I know I wanna do a Christmas village here. I just really want to. Um, and there's one at Pottery Barn I really like, but I wanna find a cheaper one. <laughs> so we'll see what we can do. Let's go get our nails done. Say goodbye to the cute little pumpkins. I don't think I'm gonna do Christmas nails yet, but you know, I just need to get rid of the pumpkins. Hello, I just called for the UV gel. You guys, I got the prettiest red. I wish I knew what it was called. It's kind of like orangey red. It's like perfect for fall to winter, I love it. Okay, you guys, I just got home. I stopped and did my grocery pickup on the way. So, I've got more bags on this little table here. So, let's put them over here and then put them away. All right, we have frozen food in here. We ran out of frozen broccoli. It's one of like my go-to dinner sides because I love broccoli. I, I put a little Parmesan cheese on it, it's very good. Sweet potato puffs and some chicky tendies. Always a staple just to have in the house. Fold her up and put her in the recycling. Also, there was like this wicked long line of traffic going to Whole Foods because they were doing like construction on one of the very main roads. And it was like, I was in the traffic for about 20 minutes. And on the way there, I put, you know, you hit like I'm on my way for the pickup. And then they ended up calling me twice because they were like, where are you? I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm in traffic. Um, I got my usual pasture raised eggs, American cheese, Yars, oat milk, and then, all right, cheese and turkey. I was actually thinking of making a sandwich for lunch. You know, sometimes you just want like a sandwich and like I never have a sandwich. It just sounded kind of good today. I did not go to 
Walmart or at home yet because I was hungry after the nails and the groceries. So I got some granola. This one's from Nature's Path. We'll see how it is. I, I want to go back into my yogurt little bowl that I make with the berries and the honey and granola. Oh, this was something new that I got. Popums. Veggie flour baked snack crackers. A half a cup of veggies per serving. I wanna try it. Let's try it live in this video. They always come up on like my homepage, so I wanted to try them. Oh, they're small. Why did I expect them to be bigger? Yeah. All right. And then I got these sea salt and lime tortilla chips. We always have these in the house. Yar likes to have these with like a single guacamole packet for like a snack. And like I always get the lime ones. I just think the lime is better. And I got yogurt for my yogurt breakfast bowls. Just some organic low fat vanilla yogurt. And then these are Yars yogurts. The Siggy's uh, strawberry. And then the usual, you already know, oranges and bananas. Ooh, these bananas look, they look good. They look good. And then I also got two large avocados. These are not ripe, but when they are, they will make some great toast. Here are the oranges. Also, we are still obsessed with the cranberry poppy. Like you guys have got to try it. I hope they restock it on Amazon soon because or it's probably available on the website. I just like Amazon because it comes quick. Ooh, you guys. Sweet Lauren's are some of our favorite cookies because you can eat them raw. They're like clean ingredient cookies. Like you can really understand all of uh, the ingredients. You can eat them raw, like I said, or if you aren't, I just want like one, one cookie each. I can just pop two like in the oven because I can't have a lot of sugar, but like if you just want like a small sweet treat, these cookies are small, but they came out with chocolate mint for the holidays. So I was so excited about this. Oh my gosh, we'll have to try these another time. Look how cute, like they would look so cute if you decorated with them. Um, but I really like Sweet Lauren's cookies. They do have um, like chocolate chip, they have sugar cookies, chocolate, chocolate. They're all really, really good. And I did also grab the peppermint whipped topping. And then for my smoothie bowls, smoothie bowls, that's not it. For my yogurt bowls, I did grab uh, raspberries. These look good and Strawberries that look good. Yay. All right, two more bags, people. I know this was a lot. All right, I got a massive, <laughs> massive log of dog food for Bruni. And then we've got some ground turkey breast. I still have a lot of chicken frozen from the pack I bought last week. So I was planning some dinners around that. And then more of our favorite Mighty Mills everything bagels. So good. Oh, I got a chocolate syrup for lining my coffee uh just because i love it and the other day i tried to use it and it was expired because it was from last vlogmas so i just grabbed this i just like it for decoration and then lastly i wanted to try these i think these were on sale as well i love lesser evil snacks they're so freaking delish again like clean ingredients and stuff but these are cheese balls <laughs> I try not to snack too much, but if I want a snack, I want a snack and I'm gonna have a snack. So let's try these. We're tasting two things live. Who doesn't love a cheese ball? So let's see. Ooh, these are good. Recommend these. I wouldn't get the other ones with the crackers, but these, these are bomb. All right guys, that was our grocery order of the week. Gonna put all this away, I'm trying to think Trying to think what I want to make for lunch. I am feeling, I am feeling a sandwich. Strange. Gotta listen to your heart slash stomach. Many hours later. Okay, you guys, I just got sucked into editing for a couple of hours and now it's three o'clock and the sun is starting to set because daylight savings. So I think I'm gonna do at home today. Yeah, I'm gonna do at home. Let's go see if we can find a village gingerbread village just see what they have because i haven't been yet for christmas decor so let's go do a quick little perusing okay you guys let's go look at the christmas stuff got a cart okay these are so pretty whoa at home is getting pricey i swear to god these are cool these are huge so many pretty trees. Guys, I don't even know where to start. Okay, it's kind of like color coordinated. Oh, look at This is like the one I have at home. 
from last year, but it's silver and twinkly. Okay, oh, this is cute. You could do such a cute little like silver theme. The great thing about at home is they just have so many choices and different options and colors and matching themes. So as you guys know from last year, I have a lot of red and green. So I think I'm gonna stick to that. I do love this huge truck. And then I always like stuff like this. I think it's really cozy. This would look cute in the entryway as well, but I don't think I'm gonna add anything else. And then I love this Santa, he's cute. Oh, I love this pillow. Sherpa on one side. Okay, here is all the red and green. This is really cute. I feel like my mom would love this. They have a ton of really cute pillows if you guys need any. I like this one. I also do enjoy like the little woodland creatures. Like I think they are adorable, especially this like glittery one here cute little deer definitely have a lot of options oh my god i love this there you guys can see it better so cute okay we do have these for a village i don't love the silver tin though i do see a little sprinkle of gingerbread right here at least it looks kind of <laughs> gingerbready okay let's head into the bigger section down here Ooh, this looks kind of like the pottery barn ones Kind of. It's cute though. Oh my god. Guys. I think. I think we found it. Shut up. I'm freaking out. This is like exactly what I wanted. Okay, I'm very excited. This is exactly what I wanted. So I'm kind of just like lining it up like and seeing how it would look. so many different ones and like some of them look a little bit different so I want to make sure they're all like pretty similar like some have the more muted red and some have the bright red I don't know maybe I should just mix them like I can't decide if I like this tree because it's like a different tone you know like of brown so I gotta think about this but I do know I love these two and see how these are like the same kind of color scheme so I think I'm gonna get these four, and then maybe the sleigh. And I can't decide if I'm gonna add Santa and this tree. I do like the tree. You guys, I literally just FaceTimed my mom. <laughs> and I'm at home and she's like, oh my God. She loves it, because she knew I was looking for a gingerbread village. And we went through, because some of them are like, they have like two different kinds one that's the cool tone and then the warm tone and I, I just can't can't bring myself to like mix the two tones but I love the ones I chose so I did all of the red and green and the warm colors so I'm just doing houses and then I'm gonna get like some fake snow and then maybe use some of my old trees like those from last year and if you guys want to do more of like a pastel one like, come on, you guys. They have so much cute stuff. And mine light up like this, too, which is everything. You could do, like, such a beautiful pastel Christmas village. I'm obsessed. Look at... And they have the nutcrackers, too. Oh, my God. Can someone please do, like, a pastel village and, like, send me the pictures? More classic Christmas. Of course, I'm gonna go through and look at everything else, even though we found what we want. I need to see if I can find some fake snow. And we've got the gold vibe. This is how I used to have all my decor, if you remember.
you guys. I'm so excited. Like, I love these gingerbread houses so much. They were definitely like what I had in mind in terms of the village. So definitely a lot cheaper than Pottery Barn. I don't think they were like the cheapest, but still cheaper than Pottery Barn. So we'll take it. And I think they're a lot more playful and they match the red and green vibe. You guys, I naturally just had to put it on here right when I got home. I have not taken off the tags yet, but here's how it looks when it's lit up. It's so cute. I was looking for like the puffy snow, but they didn't only have like the shreds and that would just be like such a mess, but they are so cute. I'm so excited that I found this so randomly in a random aisle and it's just perfect. So I love it. Here's our little village. Um, I'm deciding if I want to get more at like a different at home or online. I will link this because it is available online at home and do more if I want to do something else down there. But I just, oh, I love it. I love like the little candy cane windows. Like all the details are just so freaking cute. Okay, so I am just sitting here at the computer doing some editing and uploading this footage before Yara gets home. It's pitch black out and it's five o'clock. Not totally used to that yet. It's only been a few days, but um, I was just looking on the at-home website and I guess the name of the gingerbread stuff I got is called Gingerbread Lane. And they have so much other stuff there too. I think it just sold out probably because today's Monday. I'm guessing like over the weekend people probably went. But it says there's a lot of other stuff in stock at a different at home near me. And I'm going to visit my grandparents tomorrow. I go to my grandparents once a week with my mom usually. So I feel like it's in the vlogs a lot. But um, yeah, I'm going there tomorrow and on, it's on the way. So my mom and I are going to stop <laughs> at the other at home tomorrow and uh, see if they have anything else I want to add. Because I do feel like they do have... A bigger one too which I feel like would balance out the other side they have another height of like the tree they have a train like they have some other really really cute pieces because so I'm kind of thinking I want to just do the whole top of that or at least more of it you know so um yeah we're gonna swing by tomorrow and take a gander so I'm really really excited because a lot of it wasn't available for shipping but they showed in stock at the other store so um I'll take you guys along tomorrow obviously but Yara will be back from work soon. We started watching the new season of Selling Sunset last night. We already watched the first two episodes um, and it made me so sad. I actually started crying last night. Okay, first of all, spoiler alert for the first, well, actually for Selling Sunset, for the new season of Selling Sunset um, and trigger warning for like miscarriage and pregnancy. Sorry, my arm is tired. Sorry, this horrible angle. The first episode, it was so exciting because Mary and Romaine found out they were pregnant and it was just like so exciting. They've been trying and then I was like, oh my God, like this is so exciting. And I was, I looked on, I went, I was like, I'm going to look at her Instagram and see if now that the season is out, if she's like posting about it. And then I saw ever so quickly, she had posted this thing and I saw like a long paragraph and then it said um, about like miscarriage and, um, child loss and stuff so that made me really sad and then I started crying and it just like because just seeing her excitement like I get it I get you know when you've been trying and you're so excited and then I, I know how hard it is now to go through a miscarriage so um it made me really sad so I hope they're doing all right but yeah we're watching that now so we're just gonna chill tonight watch more of that and have some leftovers for dinner so I don't have to cook but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow when we go back to a different at home. And I hope you guys don't mind uh, how much Christmas shopping we've been doing. It's just like now that Halloween is over, it's just so exciting, you know, like this is the next phase and I just, I love home decor and hopefully you guys are enjoying, <laughs> you know, eventually we'll get through all the stores that I want to peruse around. It's not even like really buying much, but it's been fun to like look at everything and just like add some new pieces like to the collection this year um i can't wait to decorate too so it'll be coming up definitely the next vlog <laughs> i promise do you want your supper you want your supper look at that face you oh my goodness you are so beautiful you are stunning you want your supper think it's time for supper supper 
Supper. Yes, it's time for supper. Oh, sleepy. You want to try the new food from Whole Foods? Want to try this new log? <laughs> I don't know if you've had this one before. This log. Have we bought this one before? I cannot remember. But I love that the logs have like the measurement spots on them. Yes, we love the logs. He likes the logs more than the bags of the fresh food. I don't know. The flavor must be better, huh? And then this is Bruno's dog masher, as we know. Ooh, who is, he's just staring at me. You want your supper? Who's excited for supper? This is not a glamorous job, but he loves it. Here we go, Bronny. It's Bruno approved. Guys, oh, don't eat too fast. Don't choke. Can't get over this, it's so cute. But they had a bigger one. This is 20 inches. They have a 26er. And I feel like it might look nice there and kind of complete it, maybe one other tree. Cause this was the only tree they had in the store. So, and I found it in a random aisle. So someone put it back, it was thrilling. <laughs> I don't think I vlogged it, but yeah, I just, I think I wanna just carry it to over here and then put a blanket of snow underneath. That's the plan. So we'll see if we have any good luck tomorrow. All right, Bruno is chowing down, yes. Tomorrow. You guys, I'm sorry, but does this not look like the most delicious iced peppermint mocha in the world? It probably doesn't, but to me it does. It's our first day drinking out of our new Anthropology Christmas cups. I went with the candy cane one today because it is a peppermint mocha and my new peppermint whipped cream, delish. Cheers! And I got my green straw. Mm. I swear it tastes even better out of this cup. These cups are from the last vlog. My mom and I went to Anthropology because I really wanted to get these glass Christmas cups. They have candy canes. They're so pretty. Um, and they're all like a little bit different. I'm assuming they're handmade. They also have ones with gingerbread, snowmen, and Christmas trees. I got one of each. And this is my first time drinking coffee out of it. It's so festive i love it so it is the next day obviously yar is off to work and it's a very dreary day today it is rainy it's not like super cold but it's not like warm it's like 60 ish every time now that it rains i'm like imagine if it was snow does any i think like a lot of new englanders or people who get snow in general think that way look at my thing right here i have my little plant in the corner i'm trying to figure out where i'm gonna put the regular decor that takes the place of Christmas or that Christmas takes the place of. But like now every time it rains, I'm like, imagine if it was snow. Does anyone else do that? Or is it just a, just a me thing? Why do I love this cup so much? Why does this bring me so much joy? Cause it's just like the perfect ratio. Like it's the perfect shortness, roundness with, <laughs> I can't. Also you guys, I made a massive decision over the last few days. <laughs> Listen, if you're a Christmas person, this is a massive decision. I think we're gonna get a really good high quality faux Christmas tree this year for um, the main living area. Normally we get a real Christmas tree in that area and then I already have a really old fake Christmas tree for our front um, study because it shows in the front of the house in the window. But the thing is we don't have kids yet. I wanted to build that tradition like with our kids and like, even when we have our first kid, they're not gonna really like know about it for the first few years. And I don't know, I might change my mind. I might not care. Here's the thing. I've always been a real Christmas tree girl. My grandparents like always do it. We tag it, we cut it down at a Christmas tree farm where they grow Christmas trees. It's magical. I do love a Christmas tree farm. Taylor Swift, in my heart is a Christmas tree farm. Who doesn't love a Christmas tree farm? But like, I like to decorate early and you can't get your real Christmas tree until after Thanksgiving. And then I like to leave it up and like the bottom ends up glazing over. If you forget to water it for like a day. I remember last year when I was cleaning up, the bottom was glazed over. So there's a ton of water in the thing. The needles were dry. I spilled the water and the needles all over the rug. It was just, 
it was just a mess. It was just a mess. And I don't know why I'm justifying myself to you guys. I'm like afraid people are gonna be mad that I'm not gonna get a real tree. That's life on the internet though. I feel like you kind of just feel like you have to justify everything because you're afraid people are gonna like give you a hard time. But like, that's just, that's just kind of where I'm at this year. Like I get the real tree experience when I decorate at my grandparents. So I just don't feel the need. You know what I mean? Don't give me any tree shade. <laughs> that's kind of punny, isn't it? Yara and I were looking because we have some friends who have ones from Bal Balsam Hill and like love them. They're like pricey, but apparently they last like a really long time and they look super real and they feel really real. I know they're very popular. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like people love Balsam Hill trees and they're on sale right now. I think it's like early Black Friday. They're like really good price. So Yara and I were really thinking about it. Food for thought, but we, we probably need to like make the decision soon before the sale ends because like, it's like $200 off, which is like a lot. So anyway, that's my morning thoughts, drinking my coffee. I, I feel myself coming to life. It is fantastic. I'm gonna be leaving in about an hour to go pick up my mom and then we're gonna go to a different at home on the way to my grandparents and just see any other gingerbread stuff. I'm absolutely in love with the gingerbread village. I posted it on my Instagram story. The vlogs are always like a little bit ahead. So if you want like real time, life updates, <laughs> follow me on Instagram. I posted on my story, the gingerbread village, and so many of you guys loved it. So I ended up posting a link over there and so many of you guys were interested in it. So I hope you guys are also loving it in the vlog. All right, I'm gonna go get ready. I'm gonna put on like a really light makeup. I've been wearing makeup more often lately. It's just been like making me feel more, I don't know, almost more productive in a way. It's kind of like making your bed for me anyway, like putting on a little bit of makeup just makes me feel more productive and like alive some days, not always, but like recently, I think especially with the time change and like a little bit of the winter blues. Also, no shame in upping your Prozac or your anxiety or depression meds because this time of year, my psychiatrist literally told me, because last year we upped it for the winter, because I get I have panic disorder, so I get very panicky in the winter. And um, like when it gets dark, I don't know, it's just like my thing. Um, so I was, I actually started to feel the panic and I'm so glad my psychiatrist at our last visit, she was like, hey look, I'm gonna prescribe you the extra 10 milligrams like last year, and if you feel you need to take it, start taking it. And I did, and it's, like, it's so nothing to be ashamed of. I don't know, for me, it's like a big thing. So if you are starting to feel more depressed or anxious or any bad feelings, talk to your doctor, talk to your psychiatrist. There's no shame in upping your dose or starting medication. It's like she knows that like that's a thing for me. And honestly, I kind of feel like overall, I've found like my perfect dose for me. So it, it's, it's a challenge to find your perfect medicine and your perfect dose when it comes to like your mental health medication. So like, I remember I started, I don't know where, I don't know why I'm going on this tangent right now. The coffee's really kicking in, but like back when I started on Zoloft, it helped me for a very long time. Um, and now I'm on Prozac, but I find that the Prozac is working better for me. But I know in general, finding a psychiatrist can be really hard. I remember back when I was first developing panic attacks. Um, they were horrible. I've talked about it before. They were absolutely horrible. It would wake me up in the middle of the night and I felt like the world was ending and I was going to die for no reason. It was pretty much the most traumatic thing of my life. Um, and then like after they happened, I would just be on edge 24 seven waiting for it to happen again. It was literally like living in hell. It was horrible. Um, so, and I remember it was so hard. I was like, I was so desperate. I'm like, I need help. I remember getting a list of doctors from my insurance and just calling and calling and calling and like no one was taking new patients and it's it's really hard. So what I'm gonna tell you is please ask someone for help. Ask a friend or family for help if you're having a hard time like bringing yourself to make all those calls, getting the list, like have a friend or family help you, please. Like I know how hard it is it's, I've never been through something harder in my life than that time frame. Like it makes me emotional because it was horrible. And I'm just so, oh my God, where is this coming from? <laughs> I'm not even PMSing. But like, um, it, it just, it was a really hard time to get through. And I'm just so, so grateful to be on a medication now that takes that edge off and gives me peace and healing. Because if you go through something like that, like it, it was just horrible horrible so 
I know I've talked about it on and off, but like I just wanted to bring it up again because this time of year can be very triggering for people because it gets darker earlier and the winter blues and all that. So I just wanted to tell you like, please, I know ZocDoc is a great website because you can put in your insurance and see who's available. Um, personally, I just called my insurance and they gave me a list. That was my old insurance. My new one, you can go on the website and it gives you a list. I know it sucks. Like, <laughs> I hate how hard it is to get appointments for psychologists and psychiatrists, for a lot of doctors, but especially mental health because it's like it's already hard enough to like make the decision to like want to get help. But please ask a friend or family member for help if you if, like finding a doctor, you know, because it can be challenging. But, um, I'm sorry, this was like such a random tangent. I had zero intention of going here this morning. Um, I blame the coffee, maybe. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get ready. I love you, <laughs> sorry. Very small side note, I was putting this away and it says serving suggestion, perfect scoop of ice cream not included. That is so cute, Whole Foods. Okay, look who I'm here with. The home decor superstore. I'm with my partner in crime of Christmas decor. Oh, Christmas. I told them yesterday I FaceTimed you in the store with the... Of course. <laughs> and she went, oh my God. It was everything you've been dreaming I know. Of. Mom has a return. Oh, should we Yeah, we need a cart just Why in case. Guys, look at these gorgeous, huge ornaments. They're huge but they are $150. They would look iconic in the entryway though. I just, that's too much. That's just too much. At home is iffy. It's like some stuff's really good price and some stuff is just like way well, too much. If you bought that at like Pottery Barn, it'd probably be 500. They do have some more stuff here than they did at the other one. I like this one. I don't know I like the swirls. Oh yeah. This is everything. Like that is so pretty to me. Mom is soaking up the trees and dancing. Yesterday I took b-roll of the Santa you guys, but I never recorded it. He was so scary. <laughs> I wonder if your kids would be scared of him. He normally says something. Why does oh, he just finish singing you? Oh, I don't know. I don't. I don't like his face. <laughs> there he goes. I don't like it. <laughs> you guys, I'm gonna scream. They have a the huge 26 incher. It's worth it to me. Okay. I'm gonna take it out every year. Oh my god, because, so remember I sent you the arrangement? On the left, there's a room for a big one. Okay, wait, perfectly. is your biggest one that size? Yes. Okay, okay, they'll go great. Together. See, look how... Oh, wait, look, a tree. I love that. Do you love that tree? Oh, I love that tree. Because you got this one, right? I'm freaking out. And then look at that tree. Oh my god. Oh, and look at the tree. Okay. No, it definitely works. We're trying to decide if this is the wrong shade of brown. But like, this one's the wrong shade of brown. Oh no, it's the right shade it's, of brown. It just got the glitter it's on got it. It's got glitter over it. It's 100% the right shade of brown. I mean, these have glitter too. It's just more subtle. Yeah. I do love the train. If you love it, just get it. Okay. All right. We're going to do the train. Otherwise, you're going to need to Does this one look good? Yes. So only one tree? Yeah, because I already have one tree at home, the okay. other kind. So the big house and then this and then the tree. And I think I think we'll be golden. Okay. So wait a second. Wait. What did Jan see on TV? And what is that? It's a cake in a pumpkin. In a real pumpkin. Yeah. See, I need stronger glasses. My glasses are not good. So that looks like a gingerbread pumpkin. So that's, no, that's a pumpkin. No, that's a literal pumpkin. And yeah. the cake's inside it. And they baked in it. How do you get the cake out? You eat, I mean, you you eat, eat part, of the, part of the pumpkin with it. I'm mm -hmm. eating the pumpkin? It's cooked pumpkin. Yes. You guys are crazy. Ow! <laughs> Mimi's got her cute Thanksgiving decor. So festive. And I got this for Mimi at, at home because they love puzzles. Upright in my pocket. Max wants no part of this. Okay, you guys, I just got home and brought in my big mama. And then I also grabbed another little one and the train and then this tree. I still have the tags on all of them. And I also need to get fluffy snow but I am absolutely obsessed. It's totally so cute. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get like fluffy snow, take off the tags. I gotta figure out the lights and all that jazz. I hope they have like a timer. I love when, oh, this one doesn't light up. That's okay. But I love when they have like a self timer. <laughs> like I have everything, especially with Christmas in my house on just like self timers. Um, so yeah, it looks so cute. Okay, you guys, I'm also opening up a package. 
one of you guys have this really, really cute um, online clothing store, Chimba. I will link them down below. And she sent me a couple of her holiday pieces. And she sent me a really, really sweet note. Um, thank you so much, Kathy. And she did give you guys a discount code, AlexR10, for 10 e 10 e 10% off anyone who buys from the website. Thank you so much. Let me show you guys how cute these are. So we've got this really cute ho ho ho. These two are embroidered. I love this one, half jolly, half coffee. And it's embroidered on here and it looks like she's holding a little peppermint mocha or something. So cute. And then we've got this Merry Christmas with the super cute like ornaments. It's got this little smiley face and like the fireball, really, really cute. So I will link her shop down below. Um, I love this one's definitely my favorite, but they're all super cute. Thank you so much. Anyway, you guys, I just got home and we're going to eat dinner and watch Telling Sunset and go to bed. I'm very tired, but I'm so excited about this. We had a really great visit. Uh, we took a walk with the dogs. I forgot to vlog that, but overall, a really good day. Bruno and I are pooped, but thank you for coming along on this gingerbread journey. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I love you so much. And I'll see you again in a few days. Bye.